What's up everybody, we're back with another video. So today's video is going to be on Caitlyn Tui again. And so this guy, JP Gloria, made a video where he did an analysis on Caitlyn Tui's running form. Thank you for making this video because I don't have to make this video myself. So I'm just going to do reactions to this video because these videos take a, lot, a long time to make. Uh, I just got a message. We'll get that in a little bit. I, um, yeah, so these videos take a long time to make, so we're going to go over and we're going to watch this and we're going to kind of do this. I'm going to turn off the sound on this video because he talks a lot and I want to be the one talking. So I'm going to turn off the sound. If you guys want to see the original video too, you guys can go watch it. But basically, I'm just going to go over all of his points and kind of the things he points out during the video and kind of explain what he's talking about in a sense. So I'm going to use it in my own words in a sense, right? Because he's going to be explaining it and I'm going to be trying to explain it. Hopefully I can explain it well, but we'll see. We'll see if I can explain it. So I'm actually going to take off my headphones. I don't know why I have these. I plug those in so you guys don't hear anything. This is a running analysis on Caitlyn Tui. If you can see, um, that's his logo. This is him just kind of talking about this is some shots of Caitlyn Tui. Yeah, she, she really fast. So he... So he uses, I don't know what you call that stuff, but it basically checks the analysis of her form. So he's going to be using a clip from when she ran the 433 mile. Now what he says in this video, which is crazy, is that it was, he'll pop it up right here, is that when she ran it, it was, maybe he doesn't pop it up. But it was really hot that day, he says. He says, look at her split. So she comes in at a 107, a 108. She comes in at a 107. Comes in at a one or 109 and then a 108, I think it was. Something like somewhere around there. And, or it was 108, 109, 109, 108. Something like that. But he, what he says though is what's crazy is it was 95 degrees. It'll pop up right here on the screen. He says, the weather conditions, yeah, he talks about it was 95 degrees when she runs this race. Like 95. And she's running a world record or high school record. And just 95 degrees. Like what the hell? So I was just like, that's kind of crazy. So he's going to start going over some, some statistics about her running form. So stride frequency and, and stride length, which is how much his frequency is. She's doing, it, he says right here, 192 steps per minute. I think that's insane. 192 steps per minute. I would have never been able to get so many statistics. So this is really cool. Hopefully you guys can you know, check out his other original video or check out mine. And then her stride length is 1.84 meters. Which I don't really know much about stride length, but I know that's a pretty good amount. I mean, you're, t you're taking... Close to, you're taking close to about six feet per stride, per stride you run. She's pretty good, and she's probably not super tall either. But she looks like she has very long legs for a runner, like not for a runner, but she has long legs for a human being. So she's a good runner, you know. And if you look at her running form, oh, she's have, she has a big step, right? And and she's running really well. Now you could see just from just from her form right there, her knees driving, her arm is right in her pocket. And everything sound, looks good. If you look at, yeah, she's running midfoot. So she's running forefoot, right? Forefoot is what you're supposed to run. You're not supposed to really have your heel touch the ground unless you're like wearing shoes and stuff like that. You're always supposed to have your heel barely touch, barely tap the ground maybe. And then you're supposed to have it where you come up off your foot. And this is the bio, biomechanics difference from landing heel toes. Obviously, you're going to be pushing in and hurting your knees, right? It says more, less on the knees, more on the ankles. I don't think it's more on the ankles, I actually think it's better overall. Um, I think it's better overall on the ankles than, than landing like this. I think this is even worse on the ankles, but that's that's what he's trying to say, I guess. Um, uh, relevant to center of mass, you can't land straight under your body. unless uh, Even if you're a sprinter, you're not really landing straight under your body. It's almost impossible, especially for a distance runner, it is impossible to land straight under your body. So this is landing basically as close as she can. And that's gonna help with with her uh, with her form. Now he's saying that the speed is gonna be there when you land straight under your body, but the efficiency won't be there. I don't think landing in front of your body is gonna give you more efficiency. So I don't see how that would you know maybe I uh, maybe landing a slight bit less in, under your body, but I don't think that's gonna give you more efficiency. I think it's more about just the 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 being relaxed and um, having your foot land properly from barefoot running. So I think it's all just about how your body lands. Everyone's a little different. I think some people may need to land a little bit farther out, and some people can land a little bit closer, but it's all on run barefoot running, and you'll see the mechanics of your foot. 
And as you see right here, he's showing the angle of, of her foot to the ground and how her hips, and everything is like in a line basically right there. And her hips are very active, which is good. You wanna have those, yeah, those glutes and those hips are very active. And as she's pushing off, her knee's driving and her arm is coming up to a perfect spot. Which she's saying the stride, stride length, which is why she has good stride length is because she's using her hips, which is good because that's what you want to do. If you have no hip movement and you don't use your body, then you know it's not going to work. The vertical movement, obviously, you're not going to be standing straight up, right? All right. So basically, she's, he's showing the vertical movement of her hips. Which is really, which for her, you know, for someone like that is very, very good. She has step rate and hip dominate, dominate. She has that. Then you can see her foot comes straight up. She has a heel lift. Basically, her heel's coming straight up. And it's almost touching her butt. She's almost doing a butt kicker in a sense. She's coming up so much. And that's because of how fast she's running. When you're not running that fast, that's not going to be happening. But... If you see, yeah, see so your knee is is nat naturally in place too. It's naturally bending, and it's coming back. And again, she's firing back right up. And see, it says she's about a 20 degree angle lean. So yeah, she's gonna be at a lean. Uh, he's trying to say a lean doesn't doesn't um, doesn't um, gravity doesn't pull you down and actually push you forward. Uh, I mean, maybe it doesn't, but for sure it definitely helps you run faster when you have a forward lean because you're drive you're trying to run forward. You're driving forward. It's all about driving forward her postural alignments her shoulders look like they're in a good position her hands her, her, her abdominals in a good position her hands are in a good position her hips like i said are in a good position everything's running smoothly he says arms obviously he says arms are a little bit higher than they should be that's what he talks about in this video i don't know if i think arms are higher than they should be i think when you're laying that fast you need a good amount of arm swing and obviously she's running a record time so I think it's beneficial for her to have that high arm swing. See, good shoulder movement. Yeah, she has great shoulder movement. Shoulders are loose. She's not having tight shoulders where they're up here. Shoulders are, are pretty low. And when she's running, it's, it's very, you know, it's very non-mechanical. It's very relaxed. She's, she has good, she's stabilized. Yeah, she's good stabilized and she has a straight path. So she's not going side to side. She's not moving her chest. Her core is very, is very strong probably. She probably has a really strong core. And she just has great, you know, she's looking forward, she's not looking down, she has her chest up, right? Her chest is up, and she can breathe, her head, yeah, like I said, her head's in a neutral position. Everything looks really good when she's running. She's not flaring her elbows out too far. I mean, there's so many things that she's doing right, you know? Look, look at that, she doesn't move, her head's not moving. She's not moving her head, but she's breathing properly. Frontal view, that's like the frontal view of it. Uh, good leg alignment. Yeah, her legs are perfect. They're not moving side to side. Her feet are landing. Her landing a little bit. If you can see, it landing a little bit outward. But I think that's more the shoe than anything else. But yeah, I mean that's that's basically the video right there. So that was that um, JP um, Gloria. I think his name is. Check out his video. I'll put the link in the description to this original video. You guys really need to check this out. It's a great video. I just wanted to do a kind of my view on it and what I thought about his points and kind of that stuff. And I was going to make a video on Caitlin Tui's running form. And I thought, you know what? This guy has a detailed video. I'm just going to go over his video because it does take a long time to make these videos. And to make one, I'm making videos every single day right now. And so his video is something that I can't make. Like, I'm just going to be honest, I can't make something that detailed about running form because I've never made videos like that. So to go over one of his videos would be a lot better for some people on my channel that want to check out Caitlin Tui stuff and they've never seen this video. Now you guys can go see it and you guys can hear my opinions on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Peace out.